Hello guys, what's up? Today is the second part of this series. I hope you already have installed JDK first, then NetBeans and JavaFX in Builder. And I also hope that you know about their functionalities. So let's start working. First, click start button, then search for NetBeans IDE. Hit enter. Click file and select new project. Choose Java FX and then Java FX ML application. Click next. Choose a project name. For example, I am choosing calculator. Specify the project location. I want my project to be saved on YouTube channel project folder. Choose JavaFX platform JDK 1.8 and I don't want to be created a main class named calculator. So I uncheck it and hit finish. You see a project called calculator is created. Here are two source files. One of them is fxml document.fxml. This file contains the user interface, that means the design of the software. And this file contains the method. You see, there is no main class to call these methods. So we need to create a main class file. So click default package and then new java class. I keep the class name main class. You see this is the main class. You need to extend it. And we need to launch the main class. You see, here is a warning tells that implement all abstract methods. So we need to create its abstract methods. Public void start stress. primary stages add import you see all the warnings are gone to connect with fxml and the fxml document controller file we need to create a link so let's write the code fxml loader dot load get class dot get resource fxml document dot fxml add import add throws we need to create a scene that will include root add import 
and we need to show the primary stress primary stress dot show now I will run the program and you see the main class I will select as a application class after running the program you will see a window that means the program works correctly then I will open fxml document file the file will be opened you see we do not need this window so I will delete it look at the calculator there is two main boxes you can see that a calculator window consists of two boxes here is the text area and here are the buttons area so we need to uh, flow the box vertically so we need a V box and you see the buttons are contained vertical box and horizontal boxes so we need a grid pen so let's take a v-box I'll set the preferred width to 55 and preferred height 300 so let's preview the window here is our window it looks similar like our calculator so what do we need we need a text field so select text field and drop it in a box here is our text field set preferred height 70 and then we need a grid pen here is our grid pen and we need to set 4 columns and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 rows so add column after you see there are 4 columns and add rows below 4 add row below 4 columns and 5 rows then we need to select buttons need to put all of the buttons one after another this is a very lengthy process you must be patient 